Do 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 Old Testament news. Good evening. My name is Sean Burt, and I'm joined here by co anchor Lot. Who seems to be gone at the moment? Today's top story monotheism. This new craze that has taken the ancient world by storm. Belief in only one God. Is this the true path to salvation? Or tr crazy prophecies of a crackpot who's been in the sun way too long? But, before we get to that, good news for egg lovers. In light of recent rumors that eggs are poisonous, research suggests that, no, they are not. Now, we bring it to Brady Angel in the field. Brady? Deserts. Tropical hotspot or cancer sore on the face of the earth. We're here to bring you a special investigative report so you can make your own conclusion. Hi, I'm Angel, Brady Angel. You might remember me from such other documentaries as Rainforest and Ocean. Today, we're here to bring you a special investigative report about deserts. And, whoa, check out that ram. Rams aren't often found in deserts, usually in mountainous areas in the Middle East, but such an odd occurrence. Deserts, once made by God at the beginning of time, have been subject to many, many kinds of things, such as wanderers. Whether they do this by choice, I'm not sure. Hey, I think I see some over there. Let's check it out. Um, that? Huh? Is there a ram to the sacrifice? Don't we have a ram? God's going to provide the ram. Okay. Excuse me, if I get... Abraham! Abraham! Here am I. I got... The, the Lord sees that you fear him. You, you don't have to sacrifice your son. If you must sacrifice something, use the ram. You sure? Yeah. Positive or positive? Because God told me personally. We quadruple check this. Go ahead. That, that yes. ram right there? Yes. I want to be 100% sure. That one. Right? You don't have to sacrifice your son now. This ram. That ram. Pink ears and everything. Yep. Okay. That's it. Just like this. Just, just go at it. That's no, there's no like kosher rules or anything. Not at all. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I was just doing a documentary on deserts, and you seem like a desert wanderer. Is there anything? Can you offer any insight? Oh, let me tell you, I've been wandering in deserts for as long as I can remember. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants. Remind me where to go. I didn't pay any attention. Well, you should have. Really, the thing to know about deserts, it's a very important thing you know about deserts. They're hot and they're dry. So there you have it. Straight from the man whom God sent into the desert himself, they're hot and dry. Reporting live from a very dangerous desert, this is Brady Angel, signing off. Thank you, Brady. Now, back to our lead story, monotheism. The 
Relief has taken the new world by storm. Okay, I'm sorry I'm late. I know you're on the air, but I've got to tell you what, where I just came from. I just got back from what's left of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's completely destroyed. It's completely destroyed. It's completely destroyed. There are these two angels, and they told my wife and I to leave. But she turned around and turned into a pillar of salt. And now she's a bag of salt. This is... Honey, hold on a second. I've got to explain myself. I'm going to get fired. You know, we make more money with this job than when you're selling cosmetics door to door. Do you think that puts food up? Yes, I care about your feeling. That's fine. At least you can remember the last three days. Let me help you. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, um, back, back to our story. Where's my files? Uh, we need some. Are you using this pen? No, no, go ahead. I need to take some notes. We need some uh, word from our sponsors first. Oh, they checked my bag. Everything's a mess. Sodom and Gomorrah, the towns of sitters. But God, Lot lives there, and, and what if there are 50 good people there? I mean, come on, 45 good people? You would not want to destroy 40 good people. 35 good people is a valuable resource, you know? I mean, 30 people, I mean, that's a lot of people. I mean, come on, 25 people, what are you going to do? Wipe off 20 people off the face of the earth just because they live, you know, just because these 15 people live among among, uh, you know, a bunch of bad people? I mean, come on, ten people? Why, why would you do that to ten people? Okay, Abram, if you find ten good people in Sodom and Gomorrah, I will save them. You know, in reality, there's only one good person. I would think that would be enough. Okay. Sodom and Gomorrah, you are to be destroyed. This is just where you and I disagree. I was drunk. I was not. I don't know whether there might. I was drunk. 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 Camera. 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 Oh. Um. Thank you for tuning in. I was drunk. Green light. Thank you for thank you for tuning in. We'll bring in more news tomorrow. Good night. My wife. I'm gonna need you to keep time, come on, just snap, snap, snap your fingers for me Good, good, now we're making some progress, come on, just tap, tap, tap your toes to the beat And I believe this may call for a proper introduction, and well, don't you see? I'm the narrator and this is just a I've been announced with some